This is a prototype toroidal machine. It is an electrodynamically levitating magnetic rotor which is located within an aluminium torus and driven as a brushless DC motor. This is the first drive attempt. This is my first attempt to achieve a levitating rotor. It should be possible in this torus configuration using scientifically accepted electrodynamic suspension principles. This layout should be very suitable. This pry uses six coils, each 600 turns of 0.5 millimeters copper wire at 36 volts. The 6 kilogram rotor runs on three small wheels. The rotor is near the bottom to maximize lift. The diameter of the rotor is 650 millimeters. The magnets are ferrite cylinder type, 25 millimeter long by 22 millimeter diameter. There are 36 alternating radial poles on the rotor and 27 coil positions on the stator. There are now 18 coils and the voltage has been increased to 48 volts. The speed recorded is quite impressive but ferrite magnets may be too heavy relative to their field strength. second rotor is made from 10 mm by 10 mm rare earth cylinder magnets with 36 alternating poles. The first ferrite rotor was far better. The drive coil fields may require the rotor magnet to be located closer to a central position within the tube. Correct magnet selection should see the rotor rise off the wheels. Silent, friction free rotation is the objective. This machine is a variation of the induct track levitating train. The rotor is the train and the track is the entire tunnel. Rotor levitation should allow high rotational speed. The radial magnetic poles are made by forcing two like poles together and mechanically retaining them. This requires 72 magnets to make a 36 pole rotor. This is rotor number three. The magnets are 15 millimeter diameter 
N50 grade. Magnet pole count has doubled to 72. Stator coil position count has doubled to 54. Aluminum packers have been fitted inside the stator torus to raise the rotor closer to the center. A motor has been fitted to one of the wheels because self-rotation is quite feeble at 48 volts. The input power can be increased to 60 volts. My prediction is that when rotor levitation occurs, 100% of the rotor weight will disappear. Increasing the rotor speed will see a further decrease in the total machine weight.